Hello. Now, we're always trying to make cooking easy for you. Uh, Marilyn Smith is going to make it easier than ever with her little sneaky way of doing things. Give her a big hand. Come on in here. Sneaky way of doing things. Sneaky. Yes, because you're going to make a you're going to make a batch. You're going to freeze half of it. You're going to keep half of it for dinner. Right. Right. Because you know what? If you're not organized, forget it. Forget it. And people, you know, so many of us aren't cooking at home for dinner because we don't think about it until we walk in the door. Right. And so you really actually have to think of it the night before. Oh, like or, the week before. Uh, <laughs> well, in my dream world, uh -huh. you actually, you know, gross, you know, you, you do your planning, you look in your cupboard, see what you don't have, yeah. and, and buy the stuff you need, and then go from there. Yeah. So we're going to talk about big hunks of chicken that we're going to freeze and make ahead, all right? Good. So this is one chicken's of my very easy. favorite. Yeah, chicken's really easy. One of my very favorite is jerk chicken, but it's wussy, okay? So okay. it's probably not going to be... You're asking me not to judge you, I'm, I'm saying. saying that it's probably not up to your caliber, but I made it not Canadian. Not like I cook anything. I no. don't even... But, but I eat you, a lot. you love, you love and jerk. I, love I jerk. know. And and this really isn't, do. I made this family friendly so yeah. that you can, you know, you can spice can it up. It. The kids can eat it too yeah, because it's stuff. basically. Okay, so first of all, you're going to buy a whack of chicken. Now, when I usually make this, I do thighs, but Loblaws had breasts on sale that were so oh, cheap. So I bought, I bought chicken breasts. And so I'm going to do the breasts, but you buy double yeah. and then we're going to make double. Okay, so okay. come on over here Let's and we're going to here. make double. So we're going to make the jerk stuff. Okay, so, so you're going to make your own jerk seasoning. I'm going to make my own jerk seasoning. All right, so uh, it's, it. it's a whole bunch of fabulous things that are heart healthy. And yeah. that, I mean, people don't even know that jerk is good for you. Very good it's for you. Very, very good for super, you. Super, super spicy. You're right. It's going to give you so much flavor without having to cook it in a in a in a bad way, in a fattening way, right? You're right. You can just You're totally bake it right. Or pan fried, and it's fine. You're, it, and you know what? And all these spices, it's kind of like having your own medicine cabinet. Right. And I love it. There's a quote in my book that I, this guy, I don't even remember his name, but he said, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he, he was, was so, important to he you. He was so important. Hargrove mm -hmm. or something. Anyway, um, basically talking about when you have this, you're incrementally you're adding nutrition to your day so Good. we're gonna add so you can start dumping things in but oh, let's yeah, call sure. them out okay well that's so pepper cracked pepper yeah okay you see chili flakes red pepper flakes yes okay uh is that cinnamon and i think oh, we already put the cinnamon that's all spice oh okay that's all spice that's all, all, all right spice. okay hmm no idea what was it you do it uh nutmeg okay, okay. and uh this one is some Oh, that's oregano. Okay, in it goes. Okay. All if right. it isn't, it's on. Your, the recipe's know. on your site. I just made all of that up. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> Go online, cityline.ca. It, it's my recipe. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, okay. So now we're <laughs> going to add some uh, canola oil because we want a neutral fat. We need a little bit of a. A little bit of a, it's called osmosis, Ooh, and it uses science. This, it's like a conduit for the flavor. Mm. Oh yes, yeah, so my science background. Uh, this is works, apple huh? cider vinegar. Okay, okay a little that. bite. This is a low sodium soy sauce. Don't be using the regular stuff, and always look for a soy sauce that has soybeans as their first ingredient. I want to know that a soybean died to get in that bottle. Okay? Right. Because there's a lot of fake. Uh, big, and See, that's that honey. sounds so obvious, but it's but you never know what you're getting. No, and you, you have really to read have the to label. Read the ingredients. And honestly, there's like uh, it'll have caramel color. You don't want to buy anything with caramel color. Okay, okay. well those are all our Good thingies. To know. And now you need you need like I got a Cuisinart. You need one of these babies. You can't do this by hand. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you about need, it. really need to okay. chop it up. There. Power! Do you need to do any, no. like, no? No, okay. it's magical. And all it's right. actually quite quiet. We could actually yeah, have a conversation. That okay. never happens. So you smush it all up until it's kind of like a really thick paste. Yeah. And uh, and then you turn it off instead of on again. And uh, a little chunky. And then it's what fine. you do now, what I do at home when I make this is I double it, okay? So I've already got one version of it. And mm -hmm. this version, here's what you can do now. Here's the big thing. All right. So you can either put this into... Oh, I love the way this smells. Just smell this. It smells like, you, like it's almost like you want to wear that as a perfume. <gasps> you might attract weird people, but we anyway, try. I don't know. Did you know that men like the smell of apple pie? Oh, so really? if you wore apple pie like perfume, you'd probably get really lucky. That's a good oh, yeah. tip for our viewers. Isn't I think. that a good tip? Go get some apple pie perfume. Apple pie perfume. They, they haven't made that. it yet. I know. Guys, or just like maybe cinnamon. rub some apple pie on your wrists. Better th spill it on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I end up doing. Oops, there was the pie. Okay, now food safety. Okay, yeah. you can never have enough tongs because the raw tongs don't go with the cooked tongs. Right. So now you can take the bones off if you want, and then you could have made soup. But that's just way too much work for me. And this was bone in. My and husband so we're gonna... loves doing that stuff. Does Taking he? the bones oh, off and making so soup. Oh, he's so good. Send, I'll send him all my chicken over. He can do that. He will so you take your bones. put that in the you know, washing. Okay, now you seal the bag, and then I want you to massage the meat. Turn it in the side. Okay. Oh, yeah, did you seal it? Ah! That oh, was almost that terrible. That was almost, you, you were wearing that? it. Yeah. I know. And you wouldn't smell like apple pie. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So you massage that. Okay. So okay. that, 
You can do a double batch. Yes. And you can massage one and then put it in the freezer after 12 hours. You okay. want to start, you want to have it marinate for at least 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 you hours. need a lot of to time 24. for that flavor to get in there. And you you're really totally good do. about marking your bags. I do, and I had a felt pen someplace, but wherever it went, it's you impossible. You mark them the date that they went in. Exactly. So you know. You are so good. When you have to, because I listened to Thank Marilyn you for Smith. following that. And did you when notice she's how, on City Line. Did you see that little trick so that it was in the bag so it wouldn't all be all over the place? And yeah, then you just smart. pull it out. That was so smart. And then, Brilliant. Uh, or you could actually just freeze freeze the actual marinade, uh, as, oh, uh, you know, yeah, but you wouldn't true. never ever when I go to grill this okay now we're gonna go over here grill yeah, so let's okay. like let's pretend that we did all that yep and then we've got it in the refrigerator now here's what people do and this is how you'll die is that <laughs> you you uh, you take all the chicken I'm out I'm listening and then the leftover marinade you spoon it on your chicken uh, like when it's cooked this is death. Oh, this is death. Okay. There is you don't take the bacteria. before marinade and put it on the after chicken. No, you. If you want the marinade to go on after, you keep it raw. Like you don't put it near the chicken. Don't put it on the so raw chicken. So if you chicken. wanted to have a little bit on, you could spoon it off and, and right. put that someplace else. Okay. The fresh marinade. The fresh marinade. Do not cross contaminate. You okay. will die. Okay. <laughs> and then you can cook it on an outdoor grill, which is like stupid right now because you die. It's so cold out there. But a lot of dying. Everything's in gonna kill you. Everything's gonna kill you. But anyway, so I'm. Do it inside on, the on a grill, grill or in the oven, and okay. just over here, I just want you to show that size matters. Right. So when I say get a chicken breast, I meant this one, not this one, because oh. this one is like serves two. This one yeah. serves three. Okay. Oh, okay. So Good size to know. matters. Watch, watch your portion. Watch your portion. Watch it. I'm pointing at you. And don't die. Don't die. Use the right tongs. <laughs> Cityline.ca for that recipe. Thanks, Marilyn.